It's time for Creating Style with Colton Howard. Colton, who'd you bring with us today? I brought a party. How about yeah, that? How does that, I mean, sound? how does that sound? Olushe Ogulana, a.k.a. better known as Don Fiesta, is the CEO and publisher of Fiesta International Magazine, and he came to join us today. That's awesome. Thanks for being Thanks here. Thanks for being here. Uh, crushing the you. jacket, my friend. I wish Thank I could you. get as I know. swaggy as him. That's no, unreal. Kidding. Why hey, nothing with confidence? I'm taking notes as he comes in. I'm like, Wait, where did you get that? Where did you find that? <laughs> Everything like Thank that. But, I mean, it makes sense when you run a fashion magazine, right, sure. Cody? So, um, Don Olushe how, what do you prefer to go by? Just Don Fiesta. Don Fiesta. Don Fiesta. Let's do it. Yeah, that's what I'd go by too. That's Tell cool. us about this magazine. How long has Fiesta International been in circulation? What came, what made you come up with this idea to begin with? Actually, I've been in the publishing business for a very long time. I've been a writer, editor, proofreader. Uh, at some point in 2012 in London, UK, I had a conversation with my dad that I was going to start my own magazine. And actually, uh, other thing, Jonathan Ogulano, that's my dad, he, uh, he came up with the idea, Fiesta. And I had a long list of um, names. And I asked him that question, that why Fiesta? He said, Fiesta is one thing that brings everyone together, yeah. celebration. And he sees that the magazine will go far and wide beyond the, this room. And uh, 12 years after, here we are. I felt like we've not the uh, in my community we've not been the stories about our fashion, lifestyle, music, uh, events are not told well enough. They're not told enough, and I felt like I just needed to bring my own expertise, my training, my experience in and through the magazine. So far, so good. We're about to unveil the 15th issue, and I'm excited. Yeah, big thing is coming up. What have you seen the impact be on the community from this magazine? I know you were talking to me about your covers earlier and how important they are to you. Yes, the magazine has been able to uh, showcase a lot of people, uh, talents, fashion designers, business owners, events. Um, I've had you know a lot of uh, columnists, writers, uh, been able to give giving them the platform to express themselves as well. I think that's been quite impactful. But what is special about this uh, 15th issue that we're about to unveil on November yeah. the 12th is that there's a different dimension. Everybody is included, you know, from the Caribbean to Af the Africans, the African Americans, everybody is included in this brand new 15th issue. Secondly, Finally, we've been, you know, uh, given the opportunity to sell our magazine on Walmart. Yeah. We've been on it for a while. And eventually, we're able to do that. It's on uh, Amazon, Amazon yeah. and then my cloud as well. Oh. And then, you know, talking about the cover, before now, as you can see, I've only featured popular faces. Sure. But with this 15 issue and henceforth, I decided that young people in our communities who are doing something great, Absolutely. who have a story to inspire the younger generation, deserve that spotlight as well. And so for the 15th issue, we have a young lady born and bred in Indianapolis. Her name is Jalen Johnson. She has a story, seven, year, uh, seven and a half years in, in the U.S. Navy, uh, visual artist, doing greatly, and I felt she deserved a spot. And That's so awesome. with the magazine right now, we're willing to create more opportunities for younger people, business people, people who have events, who have ideas, writers, just use our magazine as a platform for them. So about this grand unveiling coming up on Sunday, where is it at? Where can people find more and, and check it out? Yeah, the grand unveiling is going to feature a lot of activities. We have a fashion showcase. Nice. We have an art showcase. We have a musical performances. We have people coming from all the way. Uh, we have a host um, um, Lady Q coming all the way from Atlanta. We have a performing artist coming from Pennsylvania, from all over the country. And then, of course, on this day, November the 12th, yep. it's going to be a Sunday. It's going to be at the, the uh, Hilton Garden Inn in the Naples Airport um, from 2.30 with the red carpet. Of course, we're also privileged to have the, uh, the red carpet you know, coverage of... Um, um, WTSX, uh, 104.9 uh, FM, coming to support us. And then, of course, it's going to be a great event, networking opportunities. Perfect. For those who want to attend, we still have tickets on sale. Um, you can go to Eventsbrite or you can go to my Instagram, uh, official Don Fiesta. The link is right there. But for today, we're planning to give two VIP tickets oh, out. Wow. Yeah. So if you're interested, contact the producers or reach out to me. 
These tickets are all for grabs if you're interested in attending. So Come check it out, Cody. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Don, thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. See Colton, you, always bringing good people. We appreciate it.